I'm looking at Greg's number six spot in Derek Carr. And they already met with Derek Carr, and we've already heard that he's going to be down in Indianapolis. He's going to be at the Combine, and he's going to be meeting with teams. And I compare this to kind of the dating scene for the Jets. You mm. show up to the club, you're looking for love, mm. and you meet a girl early on in the night, and you're like, she has the looks, great personality. Like, she could be the one. But there's always that question mark of what's left out there. Who else could I run into if I make my rounds or if I hang out at the bar for a little while longer? And sometimes you're looking for that person and they don't exist or the opportunity never comes. And you look back and you're like, man, now you see her on TikTok and she's doing dances with her entire family. She looks happy and you're still miserable. So for the Jets, Derek Carr is available right now. You had him in the building. You've met with him. You have an opportunity to secure the quarterback spot with a veteran who has been productive over his career. It may not have the same potential as an Aaron Rodgers or a Lamar Jackson, but for this Jets team, you look at how good they were last year on offense, I mean on defense, compared to their offensive ranks. They don't possibly need Tom Brady to come in and save their franchise at the quarterback position. They were able to win in spite of the quarterback position last year. So bring a guy in like Carr, know what he's doing, know that you have your guy right now, and you can go out and sign Quentin Williams to an extension, go get some offensive linemen, and know that the quarterback position is taken care of because Carr is available right now, and you can sign him where, where, and build for the season. Where are you from originally? Me? Yeah. From uh, New York. Did you just tell New Yorkers to settle? What are we talking about? You mentioned love in the club. Oh. A banger. Shout out Usher with that one. <laughs> but I will say this. You're in New York. Yeah. You know a guy who used to own a club in New York? Joe Namath. Mm. You know another guy who spent a lot of time in the club and found some of the hottest women? Oh. Mark Sanchez. And I know yeah. Mark Sanchez didn't win a Me Super Bowl. <laughs> AFC Championship, though, in New York. I'm going to give you a list for Mark Sanchez. Eva Longoria. Girlfriend once, rumored. Uh, all this stuff is rumored. Reported. Hillary Ronda, supermodel. Mm. Kate Upton, supermodel. Mm -hmm. Joe Namath famously said, give me a pretty blonde and I like my, I like my labels red. Okay. He's telling you what he drinks and what he likes. Mm. That's what New York wants. Where are you going with this? They want a quarterback <laughs> that everyone loves. Give me Aaron Rodgers. I want to talk about the quarterback all day. I want to talk about what he does off the field. Mm. I want to talk about who he's dating. Aaron Rodgers, Danica Patrick, mm. supposedly Milwaukee Bucks owner's daughter. Like, this is all stuff in Wisconsin. No one cares about what Aaron Rodgers is doing off the field in New York. Revis has already tweeted out, be humble, bro. If you come here, be humble. What? We don't know. It's you, already getting did going. Did you know I was going to say love in the club? Because I didn't. Wow, we're, we're having twins, a twin moment bro. Right we're now. twins. Yeah, that was. Some, I know what you're I thinking. Was like, how, I'm that like, where is he going with this? Right there. I know Sorry. what he's thinking before he's thinking. But give me the big name quarterback. So in New York, even if we're not winning, we're in the club with our favorite quarterback. Mm. Like J.R. Smith used to be in the club. The Knicks weren't winning, but you could party with your favorite player. Wow. That's what New York's about. Gotcha. So we got Aaron Rodgers going from the darkness retreat to to the butter. Uh, he doesn't have to go to the just, club. Just live life, Aaron, like you live life. Give gotcha. us headlines. Yeah. Uh, That's all exactly right. I'm going to stay away from the headline and, and give you Zach Wilson's list. Um, we'll, we'll stay away from nope. all that. I think for Jets fans uh, and, and for the Jets, like, here's what I want to say. I want to go goodwill hunting right here. It, oh, it's God. not your fault. It's not your fault. All right? Every offseason, the Jets fans are perplexed with this. Like, we need a quarterback. We need somebody to come save us. Two years ago, it was Zach Wilson. It was the love fest about this yeah. kid. And I, I feel for Jets fans because right now everybody's, oh, man, Aaron Rodgers would be a great fit. Like, I don't think Aaron Rodgers is going to show up to New York. I don't think he's going to leave Green Bay. Derek Carr, I, I don't know. I don't know if he would choose the New York Jets right now. I, I feel like they're, they're like talking about the money they're going to spend on the lottery that they haven't won yet. Mm -hmm. And I look at Zach Wilson. I'm, call me old school. Like I, I think that young quarterbacks need time. Look, two, every, People threw two a tongue of Bailoa into the mm. dumpster. Right? They went dumpster diving with Daniel Jones last year as well. He's a young kid. Look, he needs to mature. He needs, he needs to grow. People don't didn't fall in love with Daniel Jones until his fourth year. People didn't fall in love with Eli Manning, really, until his fourth year, and he won a Super Bowl. I, I think with quarterbacks, like, these guys sometimes just need a little extra time, and they need some help around them. So, for Jets fans, 
Don't, don't mm. throw Zach Wilson away just yet. Don't go look right out where right out with Zach Wilson. Wow. I, I think I, the I defense think, threw him away already, though. Yeah. Well, there I mean, if there's if there's a way to salvage it, and he's got to win, he's got to win the locker room. He's got to grow up a little bit. Yeah. I, I think that Joe Douglas would really love to find a way to make course. his top pick. They put Chris Strebler in over Peter, Zach Wilson. This Peter, past help season. me, help me, please, because I feel like we just <laughs> ping ponged across a lot of topics here, and I need you to get back on, get back, get us back on the rails. No, I mean, I think I think Sean, that would be the, the dream that Joe Doug. I don't think they can go back to the Jets fans or Woody Johnson at this point and say our answer is Zach Wilson. It's just not going to happen. Mm -hmm. And Devin McCourty, you're mostly responsible for that when you intercept him three times in the <laughs> Meadowlands this season. That that kind of happens when everyone sees that. <laughs> Thanks, man. Um, I don't expect Zach Wilson to be uh, the the only quarterback in the room, but I do expect him to be in the room and fighting for that job. Here's the connection between Rodgers and Wilson. Zach Wilson grew up idolizing Aaron Rodgers and looks at Aaron Rodgers as that and Aaron Rodgers spent the last couple of years texting with Zach Wilson since they had an inner squad practice so that relationship exists another relationship that exists is Nathaniel Hackett and Aaron Rodgers and that's real Aaron Rodgers doesn't speak glowingly about every coach he's ever had Nathaniel Hackett and him had a real relationship I'm talking friends I'm talking his best years two MVP seasons and back-to-back -back years and yes Hackett's time as a head coach in Denver did not go as planned. But this guy can draw up an offense, and this guy can connect with Aaron Rodgers. The Jets could have hired a plethora of offensive coordinators. They chose Nathaniel Hackett. That is their chess piece in this thing. If Rodgers does come out and says, I want to be traded, the Jets make a lot of sense. And to Devin's point, I'm not going into blondes and labels of wine and all that. The New York Jets, that building, that team, they would in open arms accept a superstar at quarterback. It has been quite some time since they had one, and I think the New York market, for better or worse, would be uh, very happy to have Aaron Rodgers throwing the football for the Jets, especially those in the media ranks. Absolutely, Peter. Spot on with that. Yeah, the options are fun to pick apart, yep. but in reality, you got to have somebody that's going to fit not only next year, uh, but for the next couple of years for the Jets because they have a great young defense. Obviously, the numbers show it, but you got to have someone throwing the ball. Indeed. It's responsible. Yep.